Today, we're gonna to primarily look at Westcott's one by one Flex Cine Bicolor Two Light Travel Kit. We'll also check out some additional Westcott light modifiers and a one by two Flex Cine Bicolor Light. If you do a fair amount of traveling like me, a portable airport friendly light kit is crucial. Let's take a look and see what's inside Westcott's Flex Cine Two Light Travel Kit. Now this one is the one by one bicolor version. Okay, let's open up the case. What I like about this case is everything is really organized in it. That way you know that everything's in its proper place when you're putting it back together. Okay, on top we, ha we have the two Flex Cine lights here. Let's remove this real quick. Okay, underneath there's the two soft boxes, but then look at all the storage compartments for everything. So let me take everything out and show you what's in the kit. So as you can see, there's a lot of stuff in the Westcott Flex Cine 2 Light Travel Kit. So at the heart of the system are the Flex Cine mats. So these, these are the one by one bicolor mats, super, super flexible. So flexible as they can bend and flexible in the, in the point that where you can put them almost anywhere. I mean, you can mount these, uh, first the corners have magnets on them, so you can mount them anywhere that there's metal, it'll just stick right to them. You can use the metal grommets to tie them someplace. You can gaff tape them, because they're so light. I mean, they're just so easy to use. You, you can roll them up. I've seen uh, people roll them up for like kind of a 360 um, lighting thing, so the, the lights can go all the way around, or you can roll them up to, to shove them in a car where you just like underneath the steering wheel or anywhere. So these lights are super, super flexible. Okay, so what they have in the kit, if you aren't gonna rig it with the grommets or with the magnets, they come with these frames. So these frames are really nice. The lights Velcro right on them, so super simple to apply. And so right there, you're on the frames. You have mounting points on all four edges. These are three quarter inch mounts, not a, your standard quarter 20, but they do come with adapters to quarter 20. So that's uh, really handy. What's also nice about these frames is that they're totally collapsible. So you can break them apart if you want uh, to pack them up even smaller, but you don't need to break them apart to put them into this kit. So the one by one mat here, they have the cable that's on the back here that connects into the Flex Cine dimmers. So there's also the two of the Flex Cine dimmers. These are bicolor dimmers that have a range from 2800 to 6000 Kelvin, which is wider than the standard 3200 to 5600K range. Now this could be really helpful if you're shooting something on the warmer side, like let's say a candlelit scene, or something on the cooler side, like let's say a magic hour scene. Okay, now the build quality is really solid aluminum. This is really nice build quality. I don't think there'll be any issues with this at all in the field. Now these dimmers can power either a one by one or one by two flex cine mat. So that's really nice. And they can be powered either through the AC adapter. So we have two of those with um, the two really long cables. They're actually 16 feet long. Or you can power it through a V-lock battery. So if you look here, we have two 26 volt V-Lock batteries. It is 26 volts, so be aware of this. So do not put it on something that's made for 14.4 volts like your camera, or you're gonna blow it up. Not blow it up, but burn something out. Just be aware of that, but they'll last. I timed them at full power. The mats will last two hours, a little over two hours, okay? And let's see, the batteries also have the indicator as to how charged they are, so that's always handy. They have two of these batteries and a dual charger. So here's a dual charger right here. And the same thing, you should only put the 26 volt batteries on here, not 14.4 volts, or else you could ruin your 14.4 volt batteries. So remember, this whole battery system is a 26 volt system, which is different than a lot of the batteries you already have. So be careful that you don't mess anything up. So what I like to do, I like to mark these batteries and this charger to make sure nobody puts the wrong batteries in the wrong place. All right, so what else we got? So we got the dual joint brackets. We got two dual joint brackets right here. Um, they have uh, two straps that are for the flex cine dimmers if you wanna hang them on something. Um, they also come with two soft boxes. So two one by one soft boxes. So this one that's built, here's one down here. Um, pretty simple to build. You just open it up. Attach this to here and this and then bring, bring this across. All right, just like that. So really quick, easy setup for this softbox. 
really nice. Okay. Okay, and they also have two lightweight stands. Now these are lightweight stands. They're made so they don't weigh much. Right now, what I definitely should tell you that, that this kit clocks in just under 50 pounds. So if you're carrying it on the airport, you, you can uh, carry it in without any problems, um, without getting charged for overweight baggage. But uh, they keep the, the stands pretty lightweight to keep uh, the weight down. Now, luckily these lights weigh hardly anything. So the lightweight stand works for them. It's not the most sturdy stand that you'll use, but it definitely works. Okay, so that's all the components of the Flex Cine 2 Light Travel Kit. Let's see it in action. Okay, for our first setup, I have the one by one Flex Cine mat box as a key here. And then I have another one as, a, as kind of a backlight rim right here. So let's take a look at it in the camera. Okay, so this is without any diffusion at all. So now let's throw on the one by one soft box. So this is super easy to put on. This Velcro's on there. So what I did before, I had our key light at F8. So I'm gonna increase our output here to bring us back to F8. So again, we have the one by one mat light with the soft box that's included in the kit. We have another one by one, just open face, making a little bit of a harder of a backlight. So let's say we want to be a little more flat lighting, you want two front lights. So this one I have on battery, so it's really simple. I just bring it on over. What I'm gonna do here, Let's put the other soft box on this one. So we'll have two soft boxes, more of a, of a flatter beauty light look. Now again, it's gonna Velcro it on. So what we wanna do, let's make it a one stop difference. So we'll, have, we'll keep our key light at F8 and let's make this light be uh, F5, 6. I'm gonna block this light out. Yep, we're only at F2, 8 here. So we're gonna bring this up. Right now we're at 10%. Let's try 50%. Oh, there's 62. Let's see what that gives us. So I'm blocking that light and see what I got. Okay, F5, 6. This is more of a flat lighting setup. We do have a one stop difference between our key and our fill. And we don't have any backlight in this one. So we only have the two front lights. Okay, now let's talk about light modifiers. Now this is the one by one softbox that comes with the kit. Okay, so it's uh, you know, pretty deep and uh, it's, it's pretty rigid. I think it probably has plastic underneath this uh, fabric. Um, of course, the, it easily breaks down. The front comes off easily. Inside is the silver, which helps reflect the light and make it even brighter. Um, so yeah, so it's so a really well made, easy, easy to take on and off. So it's the same thing. Everything's mounted by the Velcro. Now, I'm not sure five years from now, how well this Velcro is still gonna be holding up, but uh, for now, it works really well. Westcott also sent me a few other light modifiers for me to check out. These do not come with a kit, but they can be purchased separately. So first, it's the uh, Flex Cine Hard Diffusion Egg Crate Grid for the one by one here. So it comes in this nice bag. You, just, you know, obviously it collapses really small. And same as the other where you just Velcro it to the front of the light. Now the Velcro here is thinner because it's just this edge, but it does seem to stick really well. And I wouldn't worry about this falling off on your talent at all. Okay, so, so this is the egg crate. So you know, egg crates are great for more focusing the light and keeping it from spilling for places where you don't want to spill. So let's pack that up real quick. And then next, what they sent me was their hard diffusion. All right, so this guy just mounts right on here. So this is gonna really soften up your light. You can use this in conjunction with the egg crate, which might be even better. So you put this on here, then you're gonna use the other side, the egg crate Velcro to stick it on. So this is the hard diffusion and the egg crate together. So this is a great combo for a backlight or for something where you don't want the spill going everywhere and you want it to be soft. Okay, the final modifier they sent me is the, Wex, the Westcott Flex Collapsible China Cube. All right, so this is really cool. So what this is, it's kind of like a China ball, but it's a China Cube. So it comes in, in this nice bag and it basically, it quickly folds out into a cube. 
like this, and then you, you mount the one by one on top. Here's a Flex China Cube now fully built. So what I simply did was uh, put on the bottom diffusion. So you just Velcro that on, it just Velcros around really simply. And then I attach these straps on top. So it comes with these, with these two straps you can hang it from, or you can rig it a different way if you prefer. Um, and it also comes with these blackout cloths. So I put one on the back so you can kind of see. So this is like, let's say you have your camera on this side and you don't want light spilling over there, or you have a wall you don't want light spilling on. You can uh, black out one side, or there's four of them. So you can black out all four sides if you want and, and have it just coming out to the bottom or any combination therein. So they're really simple to put on. They fit on here kind of like a glove and uh, you just work them on like this and then you clamp right on. This is a really smartly designed light modifier here and it puts out a nice soft space light. Okay, let's uh, take a look at some of these light modifiers in action. But this time we'll use the diffusion instead of the soft box. So this doesn't come with the kit. This, this here is a little bit extra. So, but let's just see how that looks. All right. So let's uh, check our light meter here. Let's get it to F8 again. It might still be there. Yep, we're at F8. This is the hard diffusion versus the softbox. So there's that setup. Okay, let's check out the China Cube. All right, this China Cube here, I have one of the blackout cloths on this side facing the camera, but uh, the rest is this nice cube here. All right, so this, the output I have is at 100%, and it's a little less powerful. So instead of an F8, our light here is an F4.8. So a good stop less. All right, so this is the China Cube. Let's take a look at it in camera. Okay, so I should have mentioned that I did have this light back here as a kicker still. So, so we, we have this one coming and rimming him. If uh, you wanna see it without the backlight, here it is without the backlight right here. So this is just the, the China Cube and nothing else. So finally, Westcott sent me their Flex Cine 1x2 Cine set. This is exactly the same as 1x1, one one, but just uh, twice as big. And as I mentioned earlier, the uh, Flex Cine dimmer It'll work for either a one by one or a one by two. So that's really handy. So you can use these dimmers on either one. This is the light that I used on my last feature almost all the time because it was so light, we were able to fly it as a backlight almost uh, the entire shoot. So it's really, really handy light. So Westcott also sent me a one by two hard diffusion panel for the one by two matte light here. So same as a one by one, super simple. You just put it on, focus right on, makes for a nice soft light. So, um, and also it's super light. So this is easy to fly, easy, easy to um, rig almost anywhere, you know, off a C stand or whatever. So what I wanna show you is a nice three point light lighting setup. I'm using the one by two as your key light and one of the one by ones as your fill and another one by one as the backlight. Okay, let's check that out. So now I have the Cineflex 1x2. I wanted to check this out here. So I have it with the hard diffusion on. So this is the same thing. Right now we're getting an F8 out of our key light. And our fill is F5.6. All right, so with the 1x2, this is dimmed up to 59%. Definitely quite a bit more output here. I want to check it out. Does it spread a little more around having this big one by two? Let's take a look. Now let's take off the hard diffusion and try it hard here, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and dim it down first so I don't blind my subject here. Okay, and so now I'm removing the hard diffusion. So let's see how we're doing on exposure. All right, I went down too much. Let's see. All right, there's F8. So this is without the hard diffuser, so obviously a little harder of a light. So next, let's try to do this a little more dramatic. So what happens if we kill, we're just, we're just gonna, we just turned off the fill here. So here we are with, with the one by two open face. Okay, so that's a pretty good look. See how it's wrapping around, wrapping around his nose there, which is great. 
Let's try the same look, and I'm gonna put the hard diffuser back on. All right, so here we are with the hard diffuser on, no fill light. I'm gonna use my Sekonic C800 color meter to check both the color rendering and the output of this Flex Cine one by one. Okay, so I'm gonna do it first at one meter, which is just over three feet, then at five feet, and then at 10 feet. Okay, so right now we're at 5600K. We'll test that first, then I'll do 3200K, and then we'll go to the minimum, which is 2800K, and then to the maximum, 6000K. Okay, let's check it out. So what I do, I've, I've actually got a tape measure here to make sure I'm exactly at the right spot. So here's one meter. The lux here is 2330 lux. Go to five feet. The lux here dropped down to 995. Back here is all the way to 10 feet, so let's grab that. The Lux here is 275. Okay, so now we're gonna analyze these numbers and let's see what we get. First, you'll see that the color temperature is 5,567 Kelvin. So that's very close to the 5600K target. Next, you'll see there's a slight green shift of 0.2. For light output, the Lux at one meter is 2,330, or if you like foot candles, it's 217. Now this is not super bright, but it's not bad. The CRI is 96.4, which is high. Anything over 95 is good. Now if we hone down on the skin tone numbers, which are R9, R13, and R15, the R9 is 91.4, so that's actually pretty good for the red. The R13, though, is really nice, is 97.1. And finally, the R15 is slightly low at 93.7. Now the industry is starting to rely more on TLCI than CRI. The TLCI score is 97, which is good. Now when looking at the spectral distribution chart, all lights at 5600K are going to have this blue spike at the beginning, so don't worry about that. What we're looking for is how smooth the rest of it is. A lot of LED lights have a green spike, but the Flex Cine 1x1 is pretty smooth and looks good. When measuring at 5 and 10 feet distances, as expected, the Lux and foot candles drop, but the CRI and TLCI hold pretty steady. So let's change this to 3200. So just bringing this down. Now moving to the 3200K, the color temperature measures out at 3174K, which again is very close to the 3200K target. There is more of a green shift here, with the color correction index of 0.4 green. At one meter, we get 2220 Lux, or 207 foot candles, which is a little lower than 2,330 lux, or 217 foot candles we got at 5,600K. At 3,200K, the CRI dropped from 96.4 to 95.1, which is still in the good range. Anything above 95 is good. What is interesting is that the TLCI, which is based on how the camera sees color instead of the eye, is excellent with a score of 99. The spectral distribution chart also looks good with a smooth, broad curve. Looking at the 3200K measurements at the five and 10 feet distances, again, our exposure drops, but the color rendering stays accurate. At 10 feet away, the color temperature does slightly rise, but I think this is due to the spill of the blue in the background. Okay, so now we're gonna go to 2800. When setting the light to 2800K, we have similar results, but the color temperature reading at 2,848 with a 0.3 green shift and a CRI of 96.5 and TLCI of 98. All good scores. Okay, now let's change it to 6000. And we find similar results with 6000K. However, the TLCI is a little less at 96. Now I'm gonna test it with the softbox on. So I have the softbox on here. So I'm gonna see, is there any color shift with the softbox on and what the exposure difference is. Here's the results side by side with the raw light on the left chart and the softbox on the right chart. I was a little surprised with how accurate the light remained with the softbox. There's only a slight temperature shift of 0.1 green. The CRI barely drops and TLCI stays the same. As far as exposure goes, the Lux drops about 1,000 points, equating to only a one-stop loss of light with the softbox on. Now we're gonna do the same Sekonic C800 test on the Flex Cine 1x2 light. When comparing the Flex Cine bicolor 1x1 to the 1x2, there are similar results in color temperature, CRI, and TLCI. The color correction index is slightly better at a 0.1 green. Now I figured that the output of the one by two would be almost exactly double of the one by one, but actually it's a little bit less than double. 
In conclusion, both the Flex Cine Bicolor 1x1 and 1x2 have really solid numbers. I hope this test has been helpful. I do think that Westcott's Flex Cine Bicolor Travel Kit is a great little kit. My only issue with it is its lightweight stance, which was actually done by design to keep the total weight down to under 50 pounds. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.